The presence of five fingers on each human hand might seem like a simple everyday feature, but is actually the result of millions of years of evolution. To understand why humans have five fingers, we need to look back at the origins of our distant ancestors and the journey they made from life in the water to life on the land. This journey began over 375 million years ago during the late Devonian period when the first tetrapod, ancestors of all land-dwelling vertebrates, began to emerge. These early tetrapods evolved from low-finned fish like Tiktaalik, which had fin-like limbs capable of supporting movement in shallow water. While Tiktaalik had primitive limb structures, it didn't yet have fully formed digits. As these creatures began to transition from water to land, their fins evolved into limbs better suited for walking on land, and over time these limbs developed digits. However, early tetrapods didn't start with five fingers. Fossils from species like Acanthostega and Ichthyostega show that some early tetrapods had more than five digits with up to six or eight fingers in some cases. The five-finger structure we see today was not immediately set in stone. It took millions of years for this feature to stabilize. Around 340 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, the five-digit structure became more common and eventually became the standard for tetrapods. Evolutionary pressure during this time favored limbs with five fingers because they struck a good balance between complexity and function. Too many digits would have made limbs bulky and less efficient, while fewer digits might have reduced dexterity. The five-finger design proved to be the best compromise providing enough strength and control for walking, climbing, swimming, or manipulating objects. As tetrapods evolved, they gave rise to amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. These groups largely retained the five-finger structure, although some species adapted by reducing the number of functional digits, for instance, Horses evolved a single functional toe, while birds developed modified digits to support their wings. Mammals, including the ancestors of humans, kept their five fingers because it was advantageous for a variety of tasks. And the evolutionary lineage leading to primates and humans, five fingers remained a crucial trait. Primates adapted their limbs for grasping and climbing, developing an opposable thumb, which made their hands even more versatile. This opposable thumb, along with five fingers, gave primates and eventually early humans the ability to manipulate objects and tools, an essential skill for survival. Early humans could use their hands not just for climbing, but for crafting tools using weapons and developing fine motor skills like throwing and gripping, which gave them an advantage in survival. So, the five-fingered structure in humans is a direct legacy of the evolutionary journey that began more than 375 million years ago. While early tetrapods experimented with different numbers of digits, the five-fingered limb became the most efficient structure for land-dwelling vertebrates. Humans, like many other animals, inherited this trait 
and it has played a key role in shaping our ability to manipulate the world around us. The simple act of holding something in our hand is a testament to the long evolutionary history behind the five fingers we often take for granted. Thanks for watching.